So if you want to know how Qubits makes crazy samples in the style of Offset and Travis Scott, this is the perfect video for you. Yo guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how Qubits makes crazy samples in the style of Offset and Travis Scott. So for the first step, since you have already heard the sample, I will break down every individual pattern I did and every like way I flipped the sample or like these individual patterns to make the sample sound so crazy. Then while showing you all these patterns, I will show you how I mix those individual sounds and how I process them completely. So I will show you every single mixing chain I have on the sample. And then for the last and most important part for making my samples, I will show you the mastering chain, which is, as I said, like the most important part for making my samples and I will break down every single effect I have on the mastering chain and with that being said please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel please make sure to leave a comment on this video it would really really help me and please make sure to leave some future video suggestions in the comments so if you want to see like a particular type of tutorial please make sure to let me know in the comments it would really really help me as I said and as I said please don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the bell and if you want some of my kits make sure to check out the link in the description it would really help me as well and with that being said don't forget to stay till the end and yeah guys let's go so I started off with contact and I used the Vespatone Celesti bank from Teletone Audio and all I really just did was dragging in the sound and I didn't change anything of the settings as you can see right here and then for the pattern I laid down this pattern which looks hella complex and it is like pretty pretty complex but all I did was laying down these like triplet notes right here and then just adding like these filler notes right there and right here and then I just turned on the snap to scale thing right here from the new FL update and I basically just pitch it up by one which you can do with shift and the arrow up key and I changed automatically as you can see right there and for these triplets right here I just went up again for the first two bars and that's all I really did I just changed the root note right here again so basically pitch it up one again but then I picked this B and turn it to an A sharp just for some more tension and I didn't even randomize the velocities and I will show you all the mixing chain first because I used the shaper box 2 with these settings then this portal with the trace waste preset this half time on its default settings this fully parametric EQ2 where I just cut out some of the lows this fully parametric EQ where I just cut out some of the lows then this soof 2 on its its hard setting and the depth to 4.1 then this fully parametric eq2 where i just cut out some of the lows and ducked some of the highs and cut out some of the highs completely and i added 25 percent in stereo and now i'll show you all the pattern without the effect chain first but only the first four bars so you can get a hang of like what the mixing chain really does and first of all this is the pattern without the mixing chain And now we'll show you all the pattern with the mixing chain and you will hear a crazy crazy difference. So this is the pattern with the mixing chain. And then I ran out this bell pattern out and as you can see I put it on a second mixer track but before I did that I just copied the pattern and pitched it up by 12 but lowered the volume by a lot. I put the mode to stretch as you can see right here just so I can like change the BPM as I like. And on the second mixer track there's this free parametric EQ where I just cut out some frequencies that I didn't really like. Then this soof on its hard setting and the knob to 5.9. Then this simple EQ where I just cut out some of the lows, some frequencies that I didn't really like and ducked some of the highs. And I added 25% in stereo again. Then for the next thing I recorded my own flute. But as you can see right here, this is like the, the main flute and I really, really chopped it up because I can't play the flute. It's this one right here. It's an Irish whistle and it costs like five euros. But I love the sound of it because it sounds like it actually sounds cheap. But that's what I wanted to get for this type of sample because it just fits the like whole vibe. And for the settings, I just had the D-click mode to generic, the mode to stretch. I pitched it up by one because I had the sound shift to pitch zero from waves on the mastering chain, which I will show you all at the end of this video. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned till the end. And that's all I really just did. And as you can see right here i changed the volume of some of these like phrases i would say because some of them were like a little bit too loud and if you want to for the next video i can show you like a raw flute phrase i did which will sound pretty bad but then i can show you all the effects and how i chop it up so you can make them yourself because it's actually pretty easy you just need to like know what's in key and what's not so i basically just played by ear and now i can show you the flute phrase it's 16 bars long because as you can see right here i have a second part for the sample with like another flute phrase which is way way simpler though and that's all i did for the finished flute phrase and and it sounds like this.
And now for the effects on this flute phrase, I have this RC20 just for like some more vintage feeling with the wobble and the EQ on. Then the simple fresh air where the mid air to 19% and the higher to 32%. Then this Valhalla vintage web where I tweak the mix, the decay and the low cut. This simple soothe on its hard setting and the knob to 3.0. Then I had this simple EQ where I just cut out a lot of the lows as you can see and a lot of the low mids and I ducked one frequency that was too harsh and I had a 27% in stereo. And then I ran at the flute out and as you can see I like changed up the volumes again and just chopped it up a bit. I had the declicker mode to generic, the mode to stretch, had it on the same mixing chain and that's all I really just did and as you can see I load the volume right here because it was like a little bit too loud and that's all I did for the flute and now let's go on to the next thing. Then for the next thing I had a ukulele from Contact which doesn't really sound that good but I used it just for this option right here and it's like a tremolo option I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure though and as you can see I just laid down some very simple notes. I just copied them up afterwards and I randomized the velocities and I can't really explain too much because it's just like a little counter melody which sounds like this. And for the effects on this ukulele, I have this RC20 just for the wobble and the EQ again. Then this fresh air where the mid air to 20% and the higher to 31%. This for the delay 3 with these settings. Then this Valhalla vintage web where I tweak the mix, the decay and the low cut again. This simple soothe on its complete default settings. This for the parametric EQ2 where I just cut out a lot of the lows and some of the low mids. And I had a 28% in stereo. Then for the next thing I use this Luca altogether texture which was at 140 BPM and you can get this one in the Exoplanet kit, the link for that is in the description, I would highly recommend it to you all. I got some crazy good feedback on this kit so I'm very proud of this kit so I'll make sure to get that and use code LUCALAND15 for 15% off. I would really really appreciate y'all just checking it out and you can just drag and drop these textures and like these phrases and everything else because they are automatically time stretched so that's what I did, I didn't change anything as you can see right here, I just put it on a 17th mixer track and I just copied it over and the finished texture is sounding like this. And for the effects on this texture, I just have this simple EQ where I just cut a lot of the lows and low mids and some of the highs. Then for the next thing, I use Contact and I use the Experimenter X Bass, which is one of my favorite basses for Contact or like from Contact for all types of samples. And I laid down this pretty simple bass line as you can see right here. I tried to like complement the flute, which you will hear in a second, because there's like a pretty cool phrase where I didn't want bass to interrupt with the like flute phrase. And that's all I did. I just laid down some notes on the root notes from the sample or like from the bell pattern. And the finished baseline is something like this. And for the effects on this baseline, I have this simple soup on its hard setting and the depth to 6.6. .6. Then this decapitator where the drive to about 2.5. Then the tone to a little bit dark and the style to E. Then this simple EQ where I just cut out some of the money lows, ducked like the like low lows and cut out some of the highs and had it 100% in mono. Then for the most important thing, which is my mastering chain, I have this Apex Vintage Exciter with the dark mix preset, which looks like this. Then this Chroma Tape Zero with the mastering clean and open preset, which looks like this. Then this Every World Vinyl Zero with the creamy strings preset, I just turned down the noise, the crackle, the density and the clicks. Then this L1 Limiter Zero, which basically makes the sample louder. Then and this sound shifter pitch zero from Waves where I didn't pitch it at all for this sample. Then, then this EQ where I ducked some of the lows and some of the highs just to make the sample sound a little bit more vintage. And now we'll show you all the sample with and without the mastering chain. And first of all, this is the sample without the mastering chain. And then after I put this mastering chain on, I put the declicking mode to generic, the mode to stretch and I pitch it down by one. And now this is the sample with the mastering chain.
And what I tried to show y'all with the bass line is listen to this part right here because like the flute transitions into the next two bars and that was like a really important thing for the sample like that makes the sample sound so fire because the bass line like complements the flute because it leaves some space for the flute so the flute can like shine alone I would say. It sounds weird but it's truly like that. So listen to this part right here because you will hear like a big difference because if I would have like let the bass line play through because if I would have let the like bass line play through it wouldn't sound that good. So listen to this part right here and you will hear what I mean. So it basically like transitions into the next two bars as I said but without the bass line so the bass can hit even harder when it comes to the next two bars. So yeah guys if you all enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and if you haven't already please make sure to leave a cool comment on I don't know like let me know what you think of my new room because I just moved and that's why I couldn't upload but now I'm back every Wednesday and Sunday so yeah make sure to activate the bell and let me know some future video suggestions in the comments I would really appreciate that and I don't want the outro to be too long so please make sure to check out my kids use code Luca land 15 for 15 percent off of your whole order i would really really appreciate that and it would really really help me and with that being said like subscribe and comment please and yeah guys see y'all